All right, guys. So we're going to draw up the solid core motor mount plate. And the main things we're going to look at is your overall width is 2.75 and your height is 2.5. And, and you have a cutout right here. It's 0.787 by 0.787. Okay. Uh, you also have a set of uh, five millimeter holes, which is 0.197 inches. And you got one here, here, and here. You got four of them. And they're 0.394 vertically and horizontally from these two edges. Okay. So from this edge to this edge, 0.394 vertically and horizontally. 0.394 from this edge. And the horizontal distance is 0.394 from this edge and 0.394 from this edge. So we'll go ahead and draw up our main rectangle. So I'm going to put it on top view. And we'll make this 2.5 by 2.75. Go ahead and hit save. We'll start off by drawing our rectangle cutout. So it's 0.787 by 0.787. And we'll trim this up. We'll draw our hole pattern. I can reference off this hole, so I'm going to go 0.197. I'm going to reference off this one, 0.197. We'll dimension these out. So this is going to be 0.394 and 0.394. I'm going to reference off the center of this. Now, the reason why I'm referencing off the center of that is because this is a 20 millimeter cutout and these holes are 10 millimeter from the edge. So 20 divided by 2 is 10 millimeter. Okay, uh, these are the inch dimensions, uh, but that, that's what it is, millimeter from to inches. So with that given, I can use the center of this segment to reference off of. So I'll dimension this horizontally, 0.394. And I'll dimension this as well, 0.394. Okay, so now since I have this dimension, um, it might be a good idea to constrain it because when you start drawing up the slot, sometimes you may over constrain something and it may move a piece of geometry without you knowing it. So I'm going to temporarily fix that. All right, so if we look at our hub clearance right here basically it's a one inch hole and it starts at 1.581 uh, vertically from this bottom side of the rectangle <clears throat> and it's 0.88 over okay so what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna just draw a one inch circle and I'll go ahead and draw this 1.581 1.581 and my horizontal distance is 0.88 all right so next thing we'll look at is is, is a slot but it's basically one two one inch circles just connected I mean pretty much any slot with uh, radial corners or like that um, <clears throat> these, so basically you draw two one inch circles that are 0.79 inches apart from center to center and then just connect them with a line segment on each side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this circle and I'm going to copy and paste it. So I hit control C, control V on the keyboard, or you can just right click and copy. And I'm going to go 0.079. And it looks something like that. Um, take note that if you do, just right click on it and copy. Uh, sometimes you're going to have to 
to use this translate button, okay? So I'll move it up 0 0.079. Next, what I'll do is I'll connect it with uh, a line segment. So I'm going to reference off the center there, and then I'll reference off this center, and something like that. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now what we'll do is I'll hit T for trim. And I'll trim up the geometry I don't need. So you may have to zoom in really close here and get rid of some of this geometry. Looks something like that. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Some of these segments I had to click twice. Uh, I must have um, double geometry. Alright, so that looks good there. Okay, so the slot patterns I have right here, they're typical. So they're point one, uh, point one one eight wide, and they're which is 3 millimeter. And so what you can do is draw two... Um, three millimeter circles and copy and paste them and make them 79 thousandths apart right here now these are there's four of them okay so basically these slots revolve around the center of this uh, one inch slot okay um, the main thing you want to look at uh, is pretty symmetrical uh, vertically and horizontally what you want to look at is from center to center is 1.22 same thing right here um, the center of this bottom uh, arc center point is 1.22 to the bottom of this one. Uh, so what we do is we could draw um, one one circle and vertically 0.231 from this edge, and we don't know the distance from this edge, but what we do know is they're they're symmetrical with this um, one inch slot, right? So what you could do is draw a line, constrain it um, horizontally from that way. So what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and draw a 3 millimeter circle, or 0.118. And I'm going to constrain it 0 0.31, 0 0.231. So from here to here, 0 0.231. Now... Because I don't know the, the horizontal distance, um, I'm going to go off this information right here. So th these are typical. It's pretty much a slot pattern. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line connecting the center of this to right here. And I'll hit X, make that construction line. Oops. So I have a construction line right here, and I'll also make a horizontal construction line based off the center point of that line, the midpoint. And I'll select it, hit X, make it a construction line as well. So what I could do is, uh, because I got this distance right here to the uh, upper arc of the slot, what I could do is I could select this and hit Control C, Control V. And basically pull it down minus 0.079. All right, so what I'll do is I'll connect these two arcs with a line segment like that. And I'll do one right here. Then I'll come in and trim it up what I don't need. Now, you don't actually have to trim it up. Uh, I just like to do it because it because it looks nice. And okay, so I actually accidentally forgot to um, constrain it horizontally. Um, so these are one point two two apart, right? And they line up at the center of this um, one inch slot, right? So what I could do. Now this may kind of screw me up a little bit, but we'll, we'll try it out. 
I'm going to dimension off here. I'll go 1.22 divided by 2. Okay, that, that worked out. Sometimes it may throw your geometry off. But it looks like these two circles are constrained together. And the reason why that works is because if this is centered with this uh, one inch circle right here, and I have a, uh, a center line that I drew up, I can use that to dimension off of. So it's 1.22 divided by 2. All right, so what I can do now is I'm going to go to my mirror tool and I'm going to select this geometry right here. And my mirror line is going to be this center right here. So it gives me something that looks like that. Now what I can do is select, I can go back to mirror line. I can select these segments. Um, it looks like I might have selected too many, so I'm going to clear that out and do it again. Yeah, 10, 10 segments. All right, so my next mirror line will be this one right here. And you can see the preview, so I'm going to hit OK. And everything, everything looks good. I think that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. I'm going to hit E for Extrude. Click on my Close Profile. And we'll extrude up a quarter inch. So here's my model. Go ahead and hit save again.